You've gone under agreement on your home. These are exciting times. So now it's time to get prepared for the inspection. So here's what's gonna most likely happen on the day of your inspection. Now, in most cases, the inspector, they're gonna to get to the property before your scheduled time. The inspector, they're gonna use this time to do an in-depth analysis and evaluation of this property from the exterior. They're gonna get comfortable with the building. Once you arrive, they then will go over any issues that they saw on the exterior of the property. They're gonna take you the time to really educate you about the must fix items that you need to address right now in areas that will need continued maintenance during your ownership. Now, once the exterior is completed, the inspection will most likely move to the basement. While the basement may not be the most beautiful spot of the home, it is, however, the heart of the home. It is in the basement that we will find the expensive inner workings of the house. Here, we're gonna generally find the furnace, the water heater, as well as the electrical panel. If the property is central air, then they will have evaluated the air conditioning condenser when viewing the exterior of the property. Now, the inspector will also evaluate all these systems as well as look at all the structural areas of the house. These structural areas include, but are not limited to, the foundation, structural supports, and the sill of the home. It's important to note that an inspector can only inspect what they can see. While finished basements are amazing, they also diminish an inspector's ability to do a full evaluation of the basement and therefore the structure. Aside from evaluating the systems, your inspector will also discuss maintenance of these systems. And the proper maintenance of these systems in a home will allow for an extended life of these systems during your home ownership of this house. After the basement, your inspector will most likely start working their way up from the first floor to the attic. Well, that is if there is one. During the inspection of the living floors, your inspector will evaluate all the windows of the house as well as scan all accessible outlets of the, in the property to make sure that they're properly grounded. The inspector will also run all sinks to ensure the plumbing is not leaking. They're going to check certain appliances and evaluate the craftsmanship of improvements over the years. Now, the inspector will also take the time to look at and evaluate other aspects of the house, but I really believe what I've mentioned here so far are really the big ones that they're ultimately going to focus on. So something to consider is doing a radon test. Radon, it's a poisonous gas that builds up in a basement. It's a natural phenomenon as radon actually is gas that originates from the core of the earth. It's only harmful after eight hours of continued exposure, but you're gonna to wanna to talk to your inspector about whether it makes sense to do a radon inspection or not. Now, once the inspection has been completed, then we will wanna wait for the inspection report to be sent. Together, we're gonna to evaluate the inspection issues and put together a strategy to present our request to the seller. Now, it's always important to remember that a seller, they can always deny our request. And one thing I've noticed in the more than 1,000 inspections I've been involved in is that asking too much can more often than not result in getting very little. It's important to be reasonable with any requests as going in too aggressive can agitate a seller and actually make them act more rational to what later could be considered really reasonable requests. Remember, there is no perfect home. You should always know that there is no pass or failing grade on a house and that you and only you own the report. This is not something you share with your bank or are required to share it with a seller. I will, however, say that sharing at least the sections of the report that talk about any issues that you are trying to negotiate can be very helpful to a seller in that negotiation. Now, payment for the inspection is made once the inspection is completed. Inspection costs that I have seen range from $500 to $750. Most inspectors accept cash or check. I've also seen a couple accept credit cards, but those inspectors really are the exception, not the rule. So let me know if you have any questions about the inspection as well as anything else in regards to the home buying process.